How old, how old was he when he wrote that number? I think he wrote it when he was 19. That's a lot to feel at that age. You were right. I guess. The, uh, the beat in that one reminds us a little of country or... Right. The well, it's, it's a different, it's a new sound for Bud and Travis, and it's something that we haven't, we haven't really gotten into, at least professionally. We, did, we both had a lot of it before. But uh, we thought it was worth, you know, reviving some of the old styles for it's a good sound. Nothing uh, could cheer us up more, I suppose, after a sad song like that than something that uh, is commercial. And uh, you do have a brand new album on Liberty, and we might as well be crashly commercial and urge everybody out there to go buy at least 50 each. <laughs> give you a lot of royalties. Would you please? Get out there and buy. Keep uh, <laughs> them cars on Liberty's <laughs> Isn't that great? You haven't heard that line in years, have we? Sending those cards to his friends. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm dating myself. <laughs> we admit to being old around here. We don't. We, a lot of us remember D-Day. That's an inside, that's an inside joke. Uh, do another one, will you? Love to. Uh, this is not from our most recent album. You want to talk about this, Travis? Is this is uh, uh, an from Brad? Oh, uh, yes, indeed. What is the name of the, the album? Uh, the most recent album is called Bud and Travis Naturally, which could leave some room for conjecture. <laughs> it is what color, in case they need to... Well, the, blue, the black. most of the color is black. It's got a picture of Bud and Travis standing in a weed bed somewhere. <laughs> and in, in orange. Well, they're very clever about those things. You know, they pose you next to ash cans. And other how did they do? Tell us how they did the, how they did the cover. This is well, they brought in a bunch of ideas, and we didn't like any of them. And Do so, they ask you? This is a real... No, we told them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they, they, they are not, they're really nice to us. They, they, they work with us. I don't mean to sound like everybody in the world is a yuck, because that's not where it's at. But they, uh, they, they like to work with us, and, and uh, they like to accept our ideas. They figure that we know what we're, what we're about, mm -hmm. and uh, we have approval. That's a nice thing. So mm -hmm. we made some suggestions, Trav and I, and they bought it. And the weeds, was this your idea, the weeds? Uh, no, that was the one thing I didn't like, but it, <laughs> it, no, it wasn't really weeds. It was, yeah. taken, it was taken in a park in Los Angeles, which is a very semi-tropical, sort of lush, you know. Uh, it's called a La Brea Tarpon. It looks like, <laughs> <laughs> it, it looked like Martin Denny's office. You know? <laughs> Before it was on. that monkey off the wall. <laughs> Uh, we were, you were going to sing before I interrupted you oh, with the album yeah, cover story. Oh, right, I'm sorry. oh right, right. This is uh, a thing that was introduced <laughs> in this country by a fellow by the name of Will Holt, a fellow folk singer. Mm -hmm. And uh, the song originally was a student's drinking song in France. They and sang it a lot around garbage cans and weed. <laughs> <laughs> and they, uh, they brought it over here anyway, changed it around. Bud and I changed it completely. We, uh, we rewrote the lyric and uh, changed the title. And now we finally released it as the French version of Mac the Knight. <laughs> It's called Francois the Fork. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Something for everybody. <laughs> 